I am Barack Obama. Most of you covered me. All of you voted for me. That was just about a year ago. Most members of the media still enthusiastic over our new president. Some would say gaga. But in a year's time, that enthusiasm is not so strong anymore. This week, Politico.com had this. Why reporters are down on President Obama. Citing a relationship between the administration and the White House press corps that grows more contentious by the day. Uh, there have been a number of articles like that. The Politico article, just the most recent. Is the love affair really over? Well, the love affair never really was quite as big as some people suggest. Now, these are institutional relationships. I have covered politicians of every party, and I've never felt like I got enough access. I'll, and I will never feel like I do, and I'll bet you that, that everyone at this table who's covered those folks feels the same way always. You, you're, you're at our Washington bureau for Fox. Uh, is the lack of access to the president a real concern? I spent 10 years as a White House correspondent, so I know something about this topic. I think Politico has it wrong. They say that there's a surprisingly hostile relationship now between the White House, between President Obama and the press. This is the same Politico, by the way, a couple of weeks ago, which wrote in response to something I said, that the, that the mainstream media loves Sarah Palin. So now Politico is on record as saying that the mainstream media loves Sarah Palin and is hostile to Barack Obama. There's something wrong with that picture. Here's what's happening. They're not making the distinction. The press, the overall Washington press corps, loves President Obama, continue to love him. The subset, which is the White House correspondents, the people that are actually in the West Wing in their little tiny cubicles and have to be spoon-fed information and grouse about how they never get an interview with the president, they are complaining about logistical access to the president, which is a legitimate complaint, but it's an old complaint that we have in every administration. The, uh, uh, ideologically, the press is still very much in the tank with Barack Obama. That political article, Jim, uh, notes a concern over gauzy feature, gauzy video features the White House staff photographer cranks out, taking advantage of behind the scenes access to Obama and his aides. Ann Compton from ABC is quoted as saying, someone out there might mistake them for news as opposed to slick publicity handouts for the White House to me they are mocking what we do, she says, are they? I, I think they completely are mocking what they do. I mean, I think look, the, the, the essential view of Obama, you, you all voted for me, and he just gave a big sort of arrogant look at them, and then they all cheered for him. That boils down. When you have that relationship with the press, when they, yeah, they're mad because Ro they're mad at Robert Gibbs, they adore Obama, yeah. and, 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 and the fact that they, the White House can then create its own parallel media operations, their own news releases, and, and, and still have the press loving them just shows the, how much fun it is to have your cake and eat it too. Well, and even Gibbs, <laughs> they're mad at Gibbs because he's supposed to be their conduit and they can't get to him, they say. All right, look, despite the talk of transparency, this administration is doing what every administration does and what Jim did when he was in the White House you try and manage the news by singling out reporters who are friendly to you and news organizations that are friendly to you and you give them access that's the old game it hasn't changed the White House is but just they've gone a little further they've actually built on what George W Bush did which was he began to marginalize the White House press corps he began to basically treat them as irrelevant I think Obama has gone even further and I think you're right they've actually Obama has now sort of started this little, little parallel almost new service where they put out these tweets and they put out these only White House photos and they put out White House video. One of them they actually said exclusive. You know, the, and, well of course it's exclusive. You're the White House. You have like reporters in there. Exclusive. Paid for by the taxpayers. Jim, Jim has something else to say as does Ellis but you're going to have to go to the website to catch that because it's time